Understand? Yeah. So I did the research in the 80s, and I found, I discovered finally mm. the, 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 the discovery, yeah. which the U.S. government gave me a patent. The British government g g gave me a patent, which is why you heard about me in Europe. And China gave me a patent. And I think that's enough for these three governments to recognize right. that this is a scientific discovery, that this is yes. real. And the discovery was very simple, that if we were to replace our bioidentical hormones in our body to our 20-year-old level, we don't get the age-related diseases, and we can even cure them if you have it already. Wow. And yeah. that is what, it's that simple. From then, now you hear Susan Summers talking about it. You yes. hear a lot of other doctors, and there are yeah. thousands of doctors are practicing in this country on bioidentical hormone supplementation. Mm -hmm. Supplementation to your 20-year-old level. And unfortunately, is, is that not enough doctors are doing that, and not enough mm. doctors are doing it to the point where the viewers, you, the audience, are going out there and checking your hormones. None of them are doing that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure there are thousands of you sitting here. If you're a male, you don't know what your testosterone level is. If you're a female, you don't know what your progesterone level is. See? Mm. Why? How come you get your physical exams every year and you don't get that information? Mm. Your doctor is not doing that. Mm. You need to demand on your doctor to mm. do that. Well, they will so, treat you for high blood pressure, yes. but if you're low on a certain hormone, it's no two trip. standards. Mm. When they say hypertension, they say, you got to be on a pill, you got to, got to be uh, uh, controlled. Well, I say, what about hormones? Well, well, hormones are low. Oh, you're getting old. That's okay. You know, they have two standards. Well, I say to that, well, maybe you can ignore the hypertension because God is calling him. God wants him to go sooner. <laughs> God loves him. Ignore that. If you ignore, why do you ignore the hormones? Uh -huh. Hormones are low. It's getting old too. Yeah. Why don't you bring that to a 20 year old level, restore that to a healthy level? You know, and doctors just don't. Not enough doctors do that. And that's what's causing a lot of age related diseases. And we, just like Dan earlier, yeah. you know, people like you, like Dan, like everybody sitting here, like everyone that's serving God, we need to extend our functional life. Yes. Most of the time we spend 30 years going to school, suffering, working hard, get to where we are now. We spend another 20 years, if lucky, sometimes 30, and it's over. Mm -hmm. We did not have enough time to rip the 30 years of investment that we put in. Mm -hmm. I want to see 60 years of enjoyment 90 years of enjoyment of the 30 years that we invested in oh. to save lives, to, to do what we do, to do whatever God has put you on this earth to do. Yes. And do it even better. Yes. And on the last minute, go just like a seagull. Oh. That's, oh. that's what I want. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yes. now, see, that's a totally different vision than thinking of the end as sitting on a bedpan in a nursing home Absolutely. And, and spending three years and not knowing where you are. Absolutely. And you have this vital information, and yet I'm sure to most people they think, what is this? Because my doctor tells me nothing about it. I I've got to tell them a testimony. When I first went to you, uh, my cholesterol had just started to go high. Uh, and uh, you said, I want to give you some bioidentical hormones and I never will forget my wife's medical technologist she thought I don't know if this information is good or not Dr. Chen said to me now while you're on this I want you to eat some french fries drink some milkshakes have some hamburgers cheeseburgers I thought man I like this doctor a whole lot <laughs> That's what I've been looking for and he said you're actually going to find that your cholesterol drops and I thought wow could this be? Now, he said, I don't want you having a steady diet of it every day, but if you want to do it two or three times a week, I want you to do this. And he said, watch when you take your blood test. Uh, six months later, we took the blood test. Cholesterol was down to 180. Right. And uh, blood pressure was normal and below. Yes. And I thought, wow, this, you made a believer 
yes. out of me. Now, I like what you said, don't do this as a standard lifestyle uh, all your life. You can cheat once in a while because if my hormone level is where it was when I was 20, right. 25, I'm less susceptible to cancer. Exactly. My immune system's up. Exactly. Can you unpack that for us? Ask yourself a question. When you were 20, did you avoid hamburgers, pasta, <laughs> butter, bread, wine, maybe a few LSD in our times? <laughs> huh? I'm not going to go there. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we did everything. Yeah. No problem. No cholesterol problem. Here we can come 60, 50, 60. Oh, don't eat this. Don't eat that. Don't eat this. And still, it comes up. Yes. Why? Why? Because the hormones, the hormones were down. Mm. We develop age-related diseases because the decline in bioidentical hormones, mm. not the reverse. Mm. Not that we get old and the hormones decline. It, the declining on the hormone is the causation. Uh, of the age. Of the aging yeah. and the diseases with it. Mm. The hypertension, the diabetes, the, 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 the cholesterol, the, all you name it the memory loss, the Alzheimer's, all of that stuff.